So, this was a movie I really loved as a kid. And after rewatching it, it's not as good as I remember it. Psych! It's even better than I remember it! And it's held up pretty well 10 years later. Plus one, making it 11 years. The story is about a shy, timid Blue McCaw named Blue, who after being kidnapped from smugglers, is now in the care of her owner, Linda. However, Blue learns about another Blue McCaw named Jewel, so he and Linda travel to Rio de Janeiro in hopes of saving their endangered species. Unfortunately, they ended up having a rough start, and when they get captured by smugglers, they must work together to unchain themselves. Once they do, Blue wants to reunite with Linda, but Jewel wants freedom. Meanwhile, Linda meets an unlikely team to help her find Blue. To start off, I love Blue. He starts as shy and timid due to his domestic lifestyle and him wanting to be able to fly. However, he is also clever with ingenuity and Jesse Eisenberg does deliver the quirky personality really well. Jewel is assertive and a free spirit due to her being used to being out in the wild her whole life and I like her for her love of adventure, which is something I tend to have. And when the romance blossoms in the end, you can't help but feel happy. While the story does seem like one of those romance stories where the two only met for a few days and suddenly they're in love, but with how sweet and funny it is, it really makes a satisfying payoff. They're supportive of each other, and even learn from each other. While they do have disagreements or get into fights like normal couples would, they are a great role models of a healthy relationship. The animation is really beautiful as well. At the start of the film, you feel a sense of wonder when you look at the exotic rainforest that has a variety of bright colors and a grand musical sequence that will get stuck in your head. The beach settings look beautiful with its sandy atmosphere and breathtaking water. Water, of course I meant water. <laughs> The supporting characters, while they don't get explored in depth, still serve a purpose to the film and are fun to watch. Nico and Pedro are a hilarious duo, with a love of music and bring a lot of comic relief. Raphael is such a good role model for Blue and is wise. Even Louise is quite entertaining. And I really love the villain of the movie, Nigel. He is just so appealing with his rap song, even if it can be a turn off for some people. He pretty much steals the show the moment you see him. He has quite a maniacal-like demeanor, and when he needs to be a threat, he can be intimidating at some points. Like how he made the leader monkey fall to prove a point, or even surprising Blue when he tries to rescue Jewel. He's hilarious and terrifying. The songs are also really catchy. It's great music, but the only thing I hate about the songs is the fact that they always get cut off just for the story to progress, with the exception of Nigel's villain song. What I really love is that the movie collaborated with my favorite video game franchise of all time, in which instead of the birds fighting pigs, they are helping birds out of their cages, fighting monkeys, slinging Blue and Jewel from the slingshot, and even including Nigel as a boss fight. Overall, I really love this film, and it really holds up 11 years later, with its blossomed love, amazing atmosphere with the animation, amazing characters, great songs, and if you think the movie is bad, I never heard of ya. I give Rio a 9.8 out of 10 with the ribbon of awesomeness. I love you, Rio! And now to move on to the most underrated and guilty pleasure film from Blue Sky Studios filmography.